So we survived our marathon, Aston Walls. Um, I don't think I was there eight days after all. I think um, Friday I wasn't there, but both my sister and Marky were, so um, we were still supporting it one way or another. And, but all good on the whole, I think. Um, I must have had about 12 horses there in total and all all ran well very pleased on the whole I think one one jumped down in the out of all of them so um good on Aston for making all that happen I think the weather was fairly testing at times and um to keep it happening and move the show jumps back to the surface and have great great courses and great ground especially on the cross country was was a good show so well done to team Aston Walls and I thought it was just quite interesting to show you what we do um, at the end of competitions um, I like trotting up a horse in hand um, more often than not really because I think you can see quite a lot of how sound they are naturally because quite often they can ride absolutely fine and and but just jog up on their own not quite as good so it's something that we try and do enough of and so um they would always come off the lorry um of which we can park on a nice bit of hard standing and they would pretty much have a jog off straight away off the lorry and um just a little bit forward and back to just have a quick glance to just be aware of how they are and then they get their legs bandaged up that night if they're not already done at the event but sometimes when it's very muddy and wet at the events that they would um, come home without their bandages on to then be bandaged once they're home and their legs are dry and clean and then the next morning, their bandages come off first thing when they have their breakfast and are then probably left, you know, for an hour, I suppose, then all trotted up at eight o'clock. And um, we look at them then and they basically come straight out of the stable and trot up. So you can see them at their stiffest or their worst if there is any problems. Um, but that is our routine. That's what we do um just to keep an eye on them and it's also just good to know we do this at every one day so you start knowing where you're at with the horse of managing it for three days and that sort of thing and it's good to you know the guys bring them out for you the girls guys on the yard bring them out to present them to us you can have a rundown the legs with your hands, you know, being stood without their bandages on for an hour or so then allows the legs to fill or get heat in them in areas if there is um, a weak, a weakness or an area or a hot spot or something. So, so that's why the bandages come off early and are left for a little while before we do our own trot up where we can feel all legs and trot them up and see for ourselves before they then go out in the field, which is always routine. Straight away the next day, they have a day off and go straight to the field. But all was good. It was a good Aston. So um, on to this weekend, which is some novices at Little Downham and hundreds at Summerford before the three-day event um, time of the season starts so that's exciting got a few at Houghton and on to Bicton and hopefully Lemoulin so some internationals which is exciting to be looking forward to anyway till then bye bye